we are the Fat Guardians. And today we're going to be looking at the Osteostriga Exotic SMG that just came out with the Deluxe Edition of the Witch Queen, the DLC of Destiny 2 by Bungie. So, Too Long Didn't Watch, it is an exotic primary, so in PvE it's got that 40% buff, it works really, really well in PvE, it does some really good boss damage and definitely really good ad clear. It's not going to be my go-to, but I'll pull it out every once in a while because it is useful in PvE. In PvP, if you can find a way to make it work, I think you can rule with this weapon, but for me I had to be way too close for the homing to really work. And I really didn't get my groove with this weapon. I played about two games with it, and it just didn't feel like it should. So how do you get this bad boy? Well, you have to have purchased the Deluxe Edition of the Witch Queen. Now, I did that a couple months ago because I knew I was going to be getting it, and I wanted this exotic SMG. Um, but honestly, if you listen to the rest of this simple review, it's not really going to be that big of a deal if you don't have it right now. You should be able to get it later on. I don't know what that time frame of exclusivity is, but if you want it, purchase the Deluxe Edition, and you have to complete the campaign, and then you're able to craft it. If you just play the campaign, you should have the crafting materials at the very end in order to get it as long as you've been extracting those red deep sight weapons. So perks. The exotic perks of this weapon are Screaming Swarm. It fires a stream of sentient toxic projectiles that track the targeted enemy. That means that it is shooting non-hit scan projectiles that actually have to travel through space. And then the other main perk is Toxic Overload. Landing a final blow or multiple precision hits triggers a burst that poisons nearby enemies. So this is a basically a poison SMG, almost like a SMG Thorn, and if you get a bunch of hits on an enemy that are uh, crits, it spreads poison to others and it starts poisoning it. If you get a kill with this, it does the same thing. Now, it has the option to roll with multiple perks. This is one of the new ways they're doing exotics where they're not all static. It has all sorts of barrel perks that you can select from such as Arrowhead Break, Hammer Forge Rifling, Extended Barrel, Fluted Barrel. Um, if you're just a casual person, I'd pick whichever one of those uh, allows you to have the most range without really sacrificing. And please be aware that this is a gun that you're going to level up. So once you create it, you cannot get some of the other perks until you level it up. The first couple of perks you can have are like Accurized Rounds or Flared Magwell. I would go with Accurized Rounds first, but I found that after I unlocked it, I wanted that extended mag. It gave me three more bullets, but for whatever reason, this just didn't feel like I had enough bullets, so the extended mag really helped me as a casual player. Now, it has one more perk that you can switch from. They're all the stocks. Like I said, anything with that can get you more range with this weapon. Is probably going to be a good thing. Now, this right here does have an exotic catalyst, which when you get poison kills, you get bullets back in this gun. Now, one thing about that catalyst perk, you can level up this gun to get that catalyst. You don't have to wait for it to drop. You just level this gun up by shooting it. Now, there are multiple perks you can choose. Honestly, if you just sort of let it be as it is, it's a very decent weapon. Um, if you want to play around with some of the perks it has, but there's not really a lot of choice in the perks. Um, steady rounds might be good, but honestly, as long as you're close to something, they'll sort of track. It's an SMG. You have to be really close. And I'll give more details in sort of the next couple of sections. So this can be a monster for PvE. Now, this is an exotic primary, so it has a 40% damage increase above normal SMGs. On top of the fact that you are poisoning enemies and spreading that poison, this can very well clear ads. It can help you clear an area, and honestly, it can do decent boss damage. If you get close enough that you can get those crits on the boss, start poisoning the boss, this gun can actually do a lot of damage to that boss. Personally, am I going to keep it on all the time? Probably not. 
Um, I'm going to use other exotics for PvE, but this is not a bad choice. If you're just a casual gamer and want to do a lot of damage and aren't really thinking about Grandmaster Nightfalls right now or not really thinking about some of the harder content, this would be a really good gun just to use in PvE on a normal basis. I haven't taken this into a raid or anything yet. Um, I'm sure it would be very good for ad clear, and I'm betting there are other exotics that can work a little bit better than this in some higher end content but you're not going to go wrong with pulling this in for pve now pvp is where this weapon loses me i'm not an smg guy so maybe it's just me but this is not a hit skin weapon so not only do you have to be close like an smg not only do you have to be aggressive you have to lead your targets just a little bit uh, a little bit weirder than the regular SMGs. Regular SMGs, you can aim straight at your enemy. This one, because it has travel time with those bullets, you have to sort of aim a little bit in front of them, and I never could get used to it. If you look at the footage in the background, I'm getting destroyed because I'm just not able to figure out where a good uh, place is. And, like, you can get some kills, but I'm not able to take advantage of those exotic poisoning perks because I'm not able to figure out how to aim this gun correctly. As a casual player, I don't think this is the best gun for people who just want to go in and play PvP. And maybe there's some monster who can take this into trials. But if you're looking for a decent PvP weapon, I would probably steer clear of this one unless you're just trying to have fun. That's it for this super simple review of the Osteo Striga. My name is ACB the Man. We are the Fat Guardians. Remember, any pizza can be a personal pan pizza if you try hard enough.